There's a better right winger out there. I, I think Salah's in the conversation. Yeah. I, I think Salah right now gets more goals. So I'd put Salah maybe ahead of him. He's had the, got the experience. He's won things as well. His resume is, is that much more fuller because of the age as well and the experience. This kid's on the way, on the track to, to, to get up the, to them heights. You've got to remember Salah was hitting late 20s, 30 goals seasons consistently. He's got to get to that. I think he will. Um, I think his importance to the team is the big thing. He is so important to this Arsenal team. One of, if not the most important players in this team. I think if you're going to talk about the top right wingers in the world, he's in the top three without a question of doubt for me. Yeah. So you have to think as well, with, 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 com the comparisons with Salah is a massive compliment to Saka. Because Salah's top, top draw, top yeah. class. But Salah at Saka's age hadn't put the body of work in no. that Saka's already done. So we, we, I don't think he gets an... an we, all, we all wax lyrically about him here, but I, I still think... He's such a gem. We're so lucky to have him, in, in, and this club is lucky to have him. It, he's got such great ability. And, but, yeah, he's right standing on the shoulder with all of them players in his position in world yeah, football. I, I think, Joe, you hit the nail on the head. It, Salah wasn't doing this, what Saka's doing at this age. He wasn't deciding games at the top level uh, did, did, like this in the Premier League consistently for a top team. He wasn't. So he's got an opportunity to really stamp his authority as a, one of the best right-wingers around. Yeah, the England manager yeah. watching on today as well, I'm sure. Gareth Southgate would have been very happy.